that is you all. Amen. We are willing to talk about a very particular subject today. It came to us from Givenchy, where people who don't believe that uh, there is life after death came to us to challenge us. They say that what Peter said in um, 1 Peter chapter 3 of Yeshua, when he died, he went to the surgeon of the dead to speak to the people, those who were in prison from the days of Noah. He said, what Peter said there is not true. So he wanted to prove to us that once, once somebody dies, that's the end of it. There is nothing after that. That soul is dead there and flat. And uh, this teaching we are starting today will answer some few questions that people ask. The questions concerning uh, what happens after someone dies. Where do we go after we die? What happens? To those who died in Christ and those who did not die in Christ, to them after death. So those kind of questions are those which we are going to answer uh, in this one. This, this one will also answer the question, can people believing, walking in this life, in this world, being dead already? So it will also answer that one. But before we do... Let's read in the book of Genesis, chapter 1, we are going to read what happened on the sixth day. This is what God did on the sixth day. Verse 23 shows that 23 shows that it was the fifth day. 24. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth living creature according to its kind, cattle, creeping things, and beast of the earth, each according to its kind, and it was so. And God made the beast of the earth according to its kinds, cattle according to its kind, and everything that creeps on the earth according to its kind and God saw it was good first time it said good in the sixth day then God said let us make men in our image according to our likeness let them have dominion over the fish of the sea over the bird of the air and uh, over the cattle, over all the earth and uh, over every creeping things that creeps on the earth. So God created the man in his own image. In the image of God he created him. Male and female he created them. Then God blessed them and God said to them, be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth, and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the bird of the air, of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. And God said, "See, I have given you every earth, and uh, that yields seed." which is on the face of all the earth and every tree whose fruit yields seed that it shall be for food. Amen. Amen. So, we will have a, a small time for a word of prayer. Let's pray. As we have just read, you will see clearly here that on the sixth day there were two creations. The first creation was 
of physical creation of animals of the birds of the creeping things God made them to be on the ground and our physical and God saw it was good this is the animal part which include the creeping things, the bird, whatever who has got meat, flesh but the same sixth day you find Elohim creating the man and this man was created was not created on, on earth like the animals were created he was created in the image of God and when we talk about the image of God we are talking about the man in his spiritual form this man here was created at the same time male and at the same time female so this man here is not called Adam yet because this man who's created here being spiritual he does not come from the ground but the day God will give him the name Adam meaning Adam which we will find in chapter 2 it will be at that time that this body will be called Adam because it was taken from the ground but this man here which is created male and female was spiritual it means we as per se we don't come from the ground our spiritual part does not come from the soil we come from God being the image of God we came from God made to look like God that's why you can see here he says he said let us make men in our image is the image of God and the image of the angels and uh, and uh, I look at the morning stars morning stars angels uh, 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 God himself including this man created here are all from the spiritual realm I want you to get one properly so which means this man here is not made to die you will remember when the scripture says do not fear anyone who can kill this body and stop there but fear the one who can not only kill this body but take also your spirit and kills it so the spirit can only be killed by God because it came from God Amen Amen, Amen. Now the man being made here, made, created here, in the image of God, the Bible continues, says, according to our likeness. The likeness of God is not physical. The likeness of God is spiritual. Remember the Bible says, God is spirit. And those who must worship him must worship him in the spirit and in the truth. Those are spiritual real. Are you able to see the truth? The truth cannot see unless the truth makes flesh, then you can see it. The word of God, as word of God, you can't see it. But for you to see the word of God, the word must become flesh. This is actually the program of God for the humanity. Yeshua himself will follow the same thing because he will start, he, he not started, he is spiritual. He will also become like Adam later, having flesh. Now check. 
after we have seen this spiritual part of the man, which does not come from the ground, it comes from God, let's see now which part of the human comes from the ground. So that we see, when death strikes this body, the real you is not dead with this body when it's dead. Amen. Amen. This man up to now we are hearing is created in the likeness of God to the image of God. He is spiritual. Chapter 2. Brother, you can read for us. We are going to read from uh, <clears throat> verse 4. This is the account of the heavens and the earth when they were created. Mm. When the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. Now, no shrub had yet appeared on the earth. Yes. And no plant, plant had yet sprung up. Yes. For the Lord God had, had not sent rain on the earth. You can see that all these things were on the earth as a seed. Yes. They were only waiting for the rain to fall so that they can now... Uh, manifest or spring up. Continue. And and there was no one to work the oh, ground. Wait a minute. Did you say there was no one to work the ground? Yes. But the man is created already. Why is that the man who was created could not work the ground? Because, not because the man is a spiritual. Yes. Amen. Amen. And that spiritual part of the man does not come from the ground. Did you? But streams came up from the earth and watered the whole surface of the ground. Yes. Then the Lord God formed a man. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Then the Lord did what? Formed a man. Oh, he did not create the man anymore. This time around, he's talking about the earth. The earth was having no one to take care of it. And because God wanted somebody to take care of the earth, he made now to this man a body from the earth. Amen. Continue. This is the second part of the, 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 the making of the man. The first part was the spiritual creation. The second part is the physical uh, creation. The physical creation is what the Bible says, God formed the man from? Uh, formed a man from the dust of the ground. Yes. And breathed, breathed into his nostrils yes. the breath of life. And the man became a Stop. little bit. And the man became he was not but here we see he is becoming he became what a living being, a living being. Amen. Amen. which here you can see clearly from the creation that Elohim made two steps to make the man the first step let me repeat so that it's clear for everyone the first step is when God created the man in his likeness, in his image. That man is spiritual. He is at the same time male and female, spiritual beings. Just like the, the, the angels in heaven and the, the heavenly uh, people. The second step is now when God wanted the earth to be taken care of. But remember, God was telling this man that you have the power to rule over all this. Being spiritual, that's why people who are spiritual, they control many of these things here in the nature. Our spiritual part is more superior more uh, powerful than our physical body. The moment the man will get the body, he will lose his power. 
few days after or a moment after. Second step is now the man to take care of the earth. And for the man to take care of the earth, he must be material. He must be physical. And that physical part of the man comes from where? From the dust. That's why God will say, you are dust. And to dust you shall return. He's talking to which part of the man? The physical. The physical part. Is that clear? Yes. So that we see that when this body we have, which Paul calls a tent, once it's dead, you are dead in Christ, you will be having another tent in heaven waiting for you to shift in. Amen. 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 Now, let's see what we are talking about. Verse 7, And the Lord God formed the man from the dust of the ground. Continue. And he breathed into his nostril the breath of life. And the man became a living being. That's what happens also when a baby is born. When a baby is born, it's this body that is coming out. And when the baby is coming out, Elohim is the one who forms the spirit in that baby. And the baby shows sign of life. The baby is just like that body God made for Adam. Without his breath, the body dies. That's why a baby was born and does not manifest the sign of life, that baby is dead. But how does the baby manifest the... Let's go to Zechariah chapter 12. Zechariah chapter 12. Let's read verse 1. He says this, The burden of the law, of the word of the Lord against Israel... Thus says the Lord, who stretches out the heavens and lays down, uh, lays the foundation of the earth. Oh, wait a minute. Do you see what is God talking about here? The creation yes. period. Amen. 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 God is talking about the creation period and he says, I am the Lord who stretched the heavens. Because in Genesis 1.1, 1, 1, the Bible says, in the beginning God created what? The, the heavens earth. first. Then the earth. Am I correct? Look here, the same order in Zechariah chapter 12. The scripture says, Thus says the Lord, who stretches out the heavens, then lays the foundation of the earth. Then, listen, Forms the spirit of the man within him. Amen. This one means what? He breathed in his nostril. And the man that was like this, like a statue, became now a living soul. He took that spirit and put it in that mortal body. And the body of the man became a living being. Amen. Is that clear? Yes. Now, do you see now that we are basically two parts in one? We are spiritual first and we are physical. We are both at the same time. That's why to be born again is when your spirit that is in you believes God. Then you become a man after God's own heart. You become a man in the image of God. That man in you, the spirit. But unfortunately we see many people forcing this body to look like God. And people become now what we call pretentious. They do all their efforts to look like Christians. No. 
if your spirit is Christian, your spirit will control the body and the body will be naturally acting Christianity. Amen. Living Christianity. The problem is the, Bible, the word of God has not to reach our souls. The, board, the word of God has not to reach our spirit. To make our spirit divine. That's the problem. Then, we see here that God will speak. He forms the spirit in the man. As I said, a baby is just like that body made to the man. It was at that time that now the man was called Adam. Why? Because he was taken from the ground, he became flesh. Also, we will see Yeshua, who is a spirit. He will also, like Adam, take a body. He will become flesh. Amen. And that flesh, just the same way Adam disobeyed Elohim, death was taken in him. The second Adam also, he came to partake in the same, so that through his divine, divine nature, in the body that has not committed sin, that he can now redeem the man who dies from sin, so that we can get back our nature that we had before sin. Now check. We see here, as we are going to talk about uh, uh, this life and the life after death, because the life we have after death is a life we had before we came in this life. Amen. Amen. Remember, we came from God. We are only living on earth for some times. Then from here, we will leave the earth. So coming is the moment we are born. But we are born because we were first of all in God's mind. We were in the image of God, spirit. Then we come, we live on this world here as passengers. When our time is up, the body is left. The bags we have, you leave. The real you depart where you have to go. So, now, let's summarize this. Why do we have the eyes? Why do we have the ears? Why do we have the mouth? Why do we have the legs? Is because we are allowing the real us that is living in this tent here to be able to see. The real me inside, I allow him to hear. The real me inside, I allow him to express himself. What are the words? Who can, who can explain to me? Words means what? <laughs> words. Words are thoughts expressed. Whatever we think, when we express them in, 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 through our mouth, we call them words. Amen. Amen. So to allow our spirits to talk, we have a mouth. The real us is not this way. The real us, we live in this body. Like Adam, he existed before he was given the body. The same way Yeshua existed before he got a body. No other way. Amen. Amen. We will see. Because people say that once you die, that is it. Look here. You know in the book of Deuteronomy, we are informed about the death of Moses. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. He was buried by angels, right? No one knows where Moses was buried. But do you think really Moses died? Because in Matthew chapter 17, we see Moses on the mountain with Elijah. Mm -hmm. Talking. 
talking to Yeshua HaMashiach. So we are wondering what happened. No. Moshe, before he became Moshe physical, he was first of all spiritual. When the body died, he returned to what he was before. He came to do his job. What was his job? Taking the people of Israel out of Egypt. But let me say also this. There are people who are saying that you cannot take the scripture of one person and uh, apply it to someone else. But <laughs> that is not true. What was the ministry of Moses before we continue? It's just by the way. What was, if we, we were asked, how can you prove that the ministry of Moshe was a true ministry? Who can answer that question? The reason why we can say Moshe's ministry was a true ministry is because before Moshe was born, in the book of Genesis, it says, Abraham, I've made a covenant with you here. Your people will be slaves in a foreign country for 400 years. And I, the Lord, will come to deliver them, to set them free. This is the prophetic ministry that produced that man called Moshe. Moshe, which means saved from the waters. That prophecy got fulfilled in Moshe first. What, what, did, he, what did God say? I will remove them from the slave and bring them back to this land. Is that the prophecy? Mm -hmm. Let's go and see it first of all in the book of uh, Genesis. When Elohim was making the covenant with uh, our father there. Let's read uh, Genesis chapter 15. 15. We are going to read from verse 12. It says, Now when the sun was, go was going down, a deep sleep fell upon Abraham. And behold, horrors and great darkness fell upon them. The horrors and um, what else? Darkness. What is it? It was now the sufferings represented which was supposed to fall upon Abraham's seed. It fell upon Abraham. Then he said to Abraham, Know certainly that uh, your descendant will be strange, will be strangers in the land that is not theirs. Am I correct? And will serve them. They will afflict them for they will afflict them 400 years and also the nation whom they, they they serve I will judge afterward they shall come out with great possessions now as for you you shall go to your fathers in peace you shall be buried at a good old age but in the fourth generation they shall return here for they, they, will, they shall return here for the iniquity of the Amorite is not yet complete Amen, Amen. Verse 17 On the same day the Lord made a covenant with Abraham saying to your descendant, I have given this land. Okay. This is the prophecy that brought Moshe to come to existing. Am I correct? Yes. They should be slaves in a foreign country. 
But at the same time, the Lord will come and bring them out and he will also punish the land. Here, the punishment of Egypt is prophesied. And at the same time, the setting of free of the people of Israel is prophesied. Who was to fulfill this prophecy? Moshe. Now, wait a minute. My question is, to the people and the, 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 those people who are saying that the ministry of someone... You cannot take a scripture of someone and apply the scripture to somebody else. Like the ministry which prophet, no, the, the scripture that prophesizes the ministry of uh, um, uh, Moshe. Huh? The ministry of Moshe. What was Moshe supposed to do? To set the people of Israel free and bring them to the promised land. What did God say to Moshe? Elohim told him I have heard the cry of my people. Let's read it. Because nowadays we are also talking about um, the teachings that we are uh, we are going to teach very soon about Matthew 24, 45 to 50, 52. We are going to start it next week. Because tomorrow it's going to be a, a, a conference where we are going to take all of us a decision concerning some brothers who have gone ahead and um, tamper with the scripture. Showing that Brother Pierre Cass is not supposed to be in that scripture. The very same brother who used to preach the same thing all these years. Now they have changed. They say, no, we don't see anymore. What happened to you? You don't see anymore. All this time, so you were not seen. You only start now telling us you don't see. So we are going to take a decision for them as we are going to be led by the Spirit. Either they step down from preaching or they are replaced. Amen. I want to tell the brothers in, in Nairobi, when you preach fast doctrine, brother, you have touched Kabisa Elohim. Amen. Amen. Elohim does not stand the fast doctrine. That's why I can tell you, it's only by the grace of Elohim that our brother Morris survived in the church. He was supposed to be kicked out for bringing in rebellion in the church. And Elohim, every time he talks about rebellion, the people who are bringing in false teachings, simply because they don't know how to consult, Elohim just removes them from the midst of his people. So it's dangerous. My brothers, I'm telling you with all my heart, I made a vow to Elohim, something I don't know, I will always consult. In that way, I will be sure I'm not trespassing. Because you can be rejected just because of a very tiny mistake you can do by bringing in a false doctrine. You hurt Elohim. You hurt all the believers. You hurt the true church. You hurt the kingdom of God. You hurt, you support Satan when you bring false doctrine. Amen. Amen. Now, before we continue our subject on life after death, do you see here that the ministry of, uh, uh, let's read it here in the book, we just read Genesis chapter 15, now let's read Exodus chapter 3, where Elohim is calling Moshe. Verse 2, somebody. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in flames of fire from, with, from within a bush. Mm. Moses saw that though the bush was not was on fire, it mm. did not burn up. Yes. So Moses thought, I will go over and see this twin sight. Yes. Why the bush does not burn up. 
Mm -hmm. When the Lord saw that he had gone. Wait a minute. Was there any fire? Did Moshe see fire? Yes. yes. The fire was on the bush. Yes. And the bush was not burned. Mm -hmm. Which kind of fire was that? <laughs> that was a spiritual fire. Amen. Because the Bible says within the presence of God, there is a burning fire there. That's why that fire consumes anything that belongs to any, the enemy. That fire leads us also. Amen. That fire shows us the light. Amen. 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 Continue. When the Lord saw that he had gone over to look, uh, God called to him. At that time he's not saying anything. He's just observing how Moses behaved. Let me tell you. Wherever you are, you must know that Elohim, who was observing Moshe here, behaving even coming close to it to see, not saying anything, observes you also. Amen. We will give accountability for every action we have taken. Amen. When Elohim saw Moshe coming closer now to him, because he was the burning bush. Amen. And he saw that this man, if he gets closer here, he can die. Amen. Immediately, remember when Moshe told, told him, I want to see you? You remember? Yes. He said to him, no one can see me and leave. Yeah, sure. No one can see my face and leave. He said to him, go, Moshe. Moshe, go. Hide yourself there. Don't, don't, don't change the brother. Don't push. You just shift to the other side if you want because it will bring this order. If you want to, you shift to another one or you shift, then you leave the things the way they are. You also you have, you have shifted this one here. I don't know what did you do. Yes, it was in order. Now, Elohim said to Moshe, Moshe, hide there. My glory will pass. But now for you to survive, my hand will cover you so that when I pass, you are not dead. Amen. When you get close to him, brother, you are, get, you are getting close to death. And the Bible says, Elohim stretched his hand and covered Moshe. Then his glory passed. Amen. Moshe also, by the curiosity, checked. His back was the, like the back of a man. Amen. Amen. So here, Moshe is going to the burning bush. He wants to know because Moshe was also scientific. Remember, he's the upcoming commander in chief of the Egyptians. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. He wanted to know, based on my studies, I know that if there is fire on the, on the leaves, the leaves must change the nature. But how come these leaves are not changing? He came close to see Elohim and said, hey, Moshe, 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 don't go further. Yes, you were ready. God called to him from within the bush, mm. Moses, Moses, and Moses said, Here I am. Do not come any closer. Yes, God. he forbidding him to come closer. Why? The more you get closer there, you can die. Continue. Take off your sandals, for the place where you are standing is holy ground. Yes. Then he said, I am the God of your father and the God of Abraham, the mm. God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. Look at the way he's presenting himself. I love this. Continue. Um, at least Moses hid his face because he was afraid to look at God. Yes. Oh. So he was afraid to look at who? God. Who was God here? The burning, the burning bush. Amen. Amen. Yet later he will say, I want to see you. But he was seeing him. <laughs> Continue. The Lord said, I have indeed seen the misery of my people in Egypt. Yes. I have heard them cry out because of their slave drivers. Yes. And I am concerned about their suffering. Yes. So I have come down to rescue them from the hand of the Egyptians. Yes. And to bring them up out of the land into a good and precious land. Okay. What is Moses supposed to do? Continue reading. 
a land flowing with milk and honey. Yes. The home of the Canaanites, Hattites, Hamorites, Perizzites, Havites, and the Jebusites. Yes. And now the cry of the Israelites has reached me, and I have seen the way of the Egyptians are oppressing them. Yes. So now go, I am sending you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Wait a minute. What was the ministry of Moses here? To deliver the people of Israel and bring them where? To the land of the Amorite, alright? Is that his ministry? Are we together? Is that correct? Did Moses do fully this ministry? So Moses took them out of the land of Egypt, right? Yes. As they were going, they were going close to the promised land. What happened to Moshe? He died. He died. Right? Yes. Joshua came. Am I correct? Yes. What did God say to Mo Joshua? No. Oh. For Joshua to take over, because we are talking about taking over from someone. If you take over from someone, the, the scripture that concerns that man that you have taken over from, do they concern you also? Those are the things we are going to study very soon. To teach our brothers in the Jeffersonville. Amen. Joshua took over from Moshe. Am I correct? Yes. What was the promise given to the people of Israel? Even the promise given to Abraham. Your people will be slaves. And I will come to set them free. And bring them to this land. Amen. That is the work Moses was supposed to do, am I right? Yes. To finish the work, he was supposed to finish his ministry when he reaches with the people in the promised no. land. Did he reach? No. no. Who reached with the people? Joshua. Joshua. Let me tell you, Joshua took 100% the office of Moshe. Amen. With the very same ministry. Amen. With the very same wisdom. With the very same spirit, he took the people and even brought them to the promised land. Amen. Amen. When he put them there, then the ministry of Moshe finished. But with who? With another man called Joshua. No wonder Yeshua, uh, the Bible says, I will be with you, Joshua. How? As I was with uh, Moshe. Elohim was with Moshe in which way? <laughs> if you hear the way Moshe is talking, look here. Moses spoke to the nature and the nature obeyed. Am I correct? Yes. He made the way through the waters. The waters heard the command of Moshe. The water made the way the people passed. True? Huh? You agree with me? Yes. Joshua made now in heaven. He looked at the sun and he said, Son, I don't know, even when I'm here, when I speak, the people who are down there, they cannot even hear me. But you just say, Son, the sun says, Yes, stand still. I'm still working here. I need your light. The, the, the sun salutes Amen. and the sun obeys. The sun stands still. Is not this Moshe honest? How can you say the scriptures of Moshe, you cannot give them to Joshua? No. Say amen. amen. <laughs> Brother, 
when we read Malachi chapter 4, verse 5 and 6, you know it, all of you, right? Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the great and dreadful day of the Lord comes. What is he going to do? He will return the heart of the children, no, no, the father to the children, and the, the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the land with a curse. Am I right? Yes. In that scripture, how many Elijah the prophet is promised to us? Two. 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 Let's read. You show me those two. Show me those two. Malachi chapter Malachi chapter Brother, we are now in at the university where many will live behind. Malachi chapter 4, verse 5 and 6. Let me show you that we are we are having three days. Let me read. Malachi chapter 4, verse 5. Read, brother. Can you see? Where is your Bible? I read, brother. Verse 4. 5. See, I will send the prophet Elijah to you before that great. Stop. I will send who? Elijah. Elijah. Oh, did he say I will send two Elijahs? Mm -hmm. Or oh, the Elijahs? Did he say that? How many Elijah Elohim is sending here? One. One. Thank you. Say amen. Amen. The scripture talks about how many Elijah? One. one. But now, what is his job description? That one Elijah will come just before the end of the world. Am I correct? Yes. Because it says, before, read, bro. I will send you Elijah the prophet. To you before that great and dreadful day of the Lord comes. Wait a minute. In this scripture, we have I. Who's I? Elohim. Number two. Behold, I will send you. This you is who? This you is who? <laughs> Sorry? You are right. This you here, in the context, is who first? The Jew people. That's number one. Number two, you here is who? You, you are not answering. And the spiritual leader. Yes, spiritual leader. In other words, it means what? Be simple. Uh, the church. Amen. 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 So this you here is at the same time the people of Israel. First and then the church after. Amen. We are receiving how many Elijah? One. But now check. This Elijah has got the Double work. What is the first work? Read. He will turn the hearts of the parents to their children. Stop. This duty, we see it in the ministry of Yohanan Amat Bill John the Baptist. Amen. Is that true? But John the Baptist, his name is not here. But we see that there is a portion of what Elijah the prophet should do. It has been fulfilled in his life. Amen. To prove it, the angel came in Luke chapter 1, 15. He says, he will, this John the Baptist here will walk with the spirit and the power over Elijah the prophet to bring the heart of the fathers to their children. End of story. 
Amen. Amen. That's why you will see people asking again the question, why is that the, 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 the scribe are still saying that Elijah still must come? Huh? Oh, John the Baptist has come. He has fulfilled the same scripture. Amen. The very same scripture that the other Elijah the prophet for the Gentile now William Marion Branham was to fulfill. To bring us now back to our apostolic fathers. Amen. He says, he will bring the heart of the children, which is we now, to our fathers, the apostles in the Bible here. Amen. 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 It's not finished. It's not finished. The very same scripture will be fulfilled again when Elijah and Moshe will come. Amen. The very same scripture says, because it's before the great day of the Lord comes. What is it? You will see Elijah will be preaching with Moshe for three and a half years. Am I right? Mm. After that one, what comes? The great tribulation. Amen. Still, Elijah the prophet is preaching before the great and dreadful day of the Lord mm. comes. How many are they here? Three. Amen. And how can you come and presume presumptuously and say that you cannot take this scripture and give to someone else? Brother Branham says, even when I'm gone, the one who's coming after me will bring the people back to the word. Amen. Oh. Brother, what are we preaching here? We are preaching people to come back to the scripture. Mm. We are all in Malachi chapter 4, Amen. verse 5 and 6. Every time you talk to people, what do you want to do to them? To bring them here. It's the same spirit. Now the brothers are saying that, no. Brother Pierre can say, you cannot remove Elijah who will come with Moshe from this scripture. Amen. You don't have the right. This is something new. Eh? But it has always been there. That's why you must, we must accept to learn and to be taught. Amen. Jermaine, let's be humble. You don't know, ask. Amen. Amen. Okay, that one was, by the way, let's just come back to our subject. You have seen that Moshe's ministry included also Joshua's ministry. Okay, which scripture are you going to give to Joshua? If we have to ask, prove to me Joshua's ministry, which scripture are you going to take? Because the prophecy must come before Mo Joshua is in office. Am I correct? Am I correct? Yes. Uh, where is the ministry of Joshua? In the very same ministry of Moshe. Amen. What did Moshe, what did, it, what did uh, Joshua do? He brought the people to the land. Amen. To fulfill Genesis chapter 15, I will bring them back to the land of the Amorite, the Jebusite. Who did it? Joshua. Amen. I will take the people out of Egypt. Who did it? Moshe. Say amen. amen. I will bring them to this land. Who did it? Joshua. So Joshua and Moshe shared the very same ministry. Amen. You cannot come here and start talking to us about things you don't master. No. 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 Our brothers must learn to be humble. Amen. We all have a pastor who can teach us. Amen. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay. We are talking about uh, when someone dies, what happens? The spirit yesterday, the spirit yesterday in the Jivanji told us. That when someone dies, that's the end of it. There is no life 
after death. But we have now seen from the scriptures that before Adam became a living soul, he was living. Am I correct? Yes. Adam was living before he became Adam. Did you understand? Yes. Adam means what? Brother someone? Brother Petro? Brother Obanus? Taken from the ground. Adam. Adam means collected, taken, emanated from the ground. Before he was emanating from the ground, he used to exist. Wrong or right? right. So when now the body part dies, he returns back. That's why Yeshua also said, now what if you see the Son of Man returning to what he used to be before? Amen. It means this body will die. Amen. But the real me in this body, I will return to what I used to be. And now because they don't believe that there is life after death, they say now what Peter wrote in 1 Peter chapter 3, which we are going to read, is not true. Let's prove it. Let's read first of all the scripture. First Peter chapter 3. Uh, they, I want to show you that the dead people are also preaching. People who are dead. Eh? Yes. Now, if you take first Peter chapter 3, someone can read from verse 18. So those guys, they say Peter was lying here when he was writing here. Yes, anyone can read. Christ himself suffered when he died for you. Yes. And with that one death, he paid for your sins. Correct. He was not guilty, but he died for people who are guilty. Say amen. 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 Continue. He did this to bring all of you to God. Mm -hmm. In his Wait a minute. How is Yeshua bringing us to God? In this body? This body, the Bible says, flesh and blood. Does, they don't hear the kingdom. Am I correct? Yes. But no, we have to hear the kingdom. How are we going to be there? This body will be where? The Bible says, you are dust. And to dust, you shall return. Am I correct? Yes. So dust is not God for us to return to God. Dust? No. We return where we come from. Amen. And we come from Elohim. Amen. The part in our body that comes from Elohim is our spirit. Amen. Amen. Say amen. amen. Continue. In his physical form, ah. he was killed. Say amen. amen. Adam was also having a physical form? Yes. Adam, was he also having the spiritual form? Yes. Uh, continue. But he was made alive by the Spirit. Exactly. <laughs> amen. Say amen. 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 Continue. And by the Spirit... He went. He, went. he did not go there physically. Amen. Because you cannot reach that level when you are in this physical body. Amen. Continue. Yeah, and by the Spirit, he went and the priest. Wait a minute, wait a minute. When he went there, I'm asking everyone a question. When he went there with the Spirit, where was the body? The body was buried. The body was left there. His uh, body form was left there. But the real him left the body, went. Amen. Why? Because, listen to me, before the flesh is given to us, we existed. Amen. Amen. 
The same way with Yeshua. Yeshua comes from where? The scripture gives us the, the answer. Yeshua comes from where? Eternity. From the eternity. I was really waiting for that answer. Yahweh bless you. Amen. It comes from eternity. Mika says, the king or the ruler who will be born in Bethlehem, his origin is from the eternity. Amen. So you, you only see a baby's born. Be careful. It's not starting that day. No. When you see Adam there becoming a living soul. No. He did not start that day. No, no, no. He started way before. For Amen. how long? No one knows. Amen. Adam existed in a spiritual form for how long? No one knows. Amen. He was the type of Christ. We also don't know. We only know eternity. Amen. 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 Then, continue. Yeah, and by he a, went. He went. Yes, by the. He went and uh, preached to the spirits in prison. Oh, these people who are spirits in prison, where are their bodies? Buried. Am I right? Yes. Do you see that this is when this body dies? Is not the end of the story. There are people, once they die physically, they are taken immediately in prison. How? Because of homosexuality, lesbianism, uh, sin, rejecting the truth, uh, immorality, stealing, lying, sin. Those who enjoy sin here on earth, all of them, even if they are living on earth, they are in prison. Amen. We are going to talk, God willing, of this subject, the souls that are now in prison. So, you see, I see the way I see you, the, the way you are sitting here. But your soul huh, is jailed. This is a lesson. One day, Brother Branham went to a supermarket. When he went to the supermarket, he saw women. They were having this kind of hair with color, blue, green, red on their head. He looked at them. He said, where did I see these ladies? He looked at them. He said, whoa! I saw these ladies. When I went to visit the people in jail, in jail, their souls in jail, because God allowed William Branham to go beyond the curtains of time. He allowed him to go to the paradise to see what is happening there. He saw his wife who died. He also saw his, his baby who died, baby, but they was around an 18 years old girl. And the 18 years old girl came to say, Daddy, you still remember me? Daddy said, I don't know you. He said, I'm your baby who died. And come, I will show you. Mom is preparing a place. When, when you come here, you'll be there. Come, come, Daddy, I will show you. Brother Brandon went there. He's, he remembered that Elohim told him, Everything you loved and everyone who loved you, I give to you. He went there, he found his horse, he found his seat, his chair that he used to love. He found everything and he said, this is real. From there, Elohim took him now to, her, to, to the surgeon of the dead. And when he went to the surgeon of the dead, he said, okay, I don't want to scare you now, but I can tell you. The people who are not having their two feet in Christ. They can be played with everyone who's in witchcraft. But they only fail when they meet a real Christian. Amen. 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 So he went there, he said, Oh, these are the women I found when we were, I went there to visit the souls which were in prison. But they were in the supermarket buying things. 
even maybe involved. Those people, they cannot be involved in the right things. Those are the souls of people. We'll talk about it later. Now, check. Those spirits, they say that what we are seeing here, that Yeshua went after his death to teach to souls which did not believe in the days of Noah. They say, this one here, Peter is lying. This, let's say this one for the record first. Who's Peter? Peter is the man when called by, by Yeshua, he got the revelation of who that Jesus the body Jesus, the body that was there, he said, you the way I see you, you are the son of God. The son of the living God. Yeshua saw that he detected who was living in the body. He said, it's not flesh and blood that has revealed you this. It means, it's not theology, it's not uh, Bible schools, it's not uh, the scholars who were able to teach you to reveal you who was in this body. It's my father who is in heaven. And he said, you are careful. And on this rock I will build my church. Amen. The Catholics say, you are Peter. On you I will build my church. No, you cannot build the church on somebody. No. In, in the Greek, they said you are Petros. It means a small stone. But on this Petra, the rock, it means the revelation you got of who am I really. That's where I will build my church. Every church which is not built on the revelation of who Yeshua is, that church will perish. Um, Even if you speak in tongues, you pray in tongues, you are wasting your time. Amen. 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 So, let's prove that this one is true. There is still a life after death. Is that okay? Now, let's go and see here in Matthew, before we go further. Matthew chapter 17. Matthew chapter 17. Someone can read from verse 1. Six days later, mm. Jesus took Peter, Peter, James, Jacob, and John, the and Johanan, the brother of James, yes. and went up on a high mountain. They were all alone there. Mm. While these, follow, uh, these followers watched him, Jesus was changed. Oh. His face became bright like mm. the sun. Mm. And his clothes became white as light. Uh. Then two men were there. Oh, where were How many men were there? Two. Two were there. Brother, these are the people you will be surprised. They were no longer existing in this world. Am I correct? One of them died. One of them still has to die. Brother Branham says, you see, one of them, so, 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 give us the names. Talking with him, mm. they were Moshe, Moshe and Elijah. And Elijah. We know Moshe died, isn't it? Yes. He was buried by the angels. They took his body. Am I correct? Did Elijah, Elijah die? Did Elijah die? No. He did not die. Okay. He did not die. But John the Baptist died. Who was John the Baptist? Elijah. Am I correct? <laughs> Brother Branham died. Who was Brother Branham? Elijah. Elijah. But 
the Elijah the Tishabite did not die. Am I correct? Yes. Let me tell you. He will come with Moshe. Brother Bram says, that time they come, he will also be given the chance now to be physically dead. Am I correct? Yes. Well, after three and a half period of their ministry, the Bible says the Antichrist will kill both of them. Amen. And after three days, they will see all over the world, their body will come back to life. And they go. Job fulfilled. And at that time when they go, the Bible says now the great tribulation commences at a time for three and a half years. Our brother, for nothing in this world, don't miss the rapture. Amen. Brother, cleanse your life, sister. Let all of us be sincere with Elohim. Repent. Clean ourselves because he is coming. And he's coming soon. Amen. Amen. So, if there is no life after death, then what is Moses doing here? Moses came here because he did not die. By the way, let's go and see also Luke. I think it's also chapter Luke. <laughs> but there's too, much, too many things in my... There is Matthew 24, 45 in my head. There is uh, the things of the ministry and also this subject here. I'm feeling like a shift to Matthew 24, 45, but we are going to see it next Friday. Okay? I want to give you the history of how Brother Pierre Cass took over. Amen. So that we position, no, that one will not be here. We are going to do it in the church because it's the subject of today. Yeah, there's a debate. The debate is there and there now. Brother Pierre Cass said to us, because they have said this one, Ale, retaliate. Amen. Amen. Brother, we have retaliated. <laughs> Until none of them wrote even a message, even if they are in the group. They kept quiet, reading us. Everyone removed the sword. Wap, 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 wap. Not against our brothers, but against the spirit that took over our brothers. Amen. We love our brothers, but we, we hate that demon that possessed them. Possessed Brother Thomas, possessed Brother Ken, possessed Brother... Uh, uh, Barel possessed Brother Kanemu and many other brothers. It possessed the brothers in South Africa, possessed a few brothers in, in Angola, possessed some brothers in, uh, in Kinshasa, possessed it. It was a major plot, a major conspiration against the church which Elohim brought to the surface. And we are not going to deal with this matter lightly. No, it's going to be very serious. Um, and decisions must be taken. And you know the early church when they talk about decision, it means decision. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Now, let's read in the book of Luke. We are going to read in two places. In the book of Luke. We are going to read first of all here in Luke chapter 16. Then we are going to read again Luke when Yeshua is at the cross. Okay?
Now, we are going to take Luke chapter 16 and also Luke chapter 23. To see, because this one is a small subject, we are going to finish it just uh, here. Then we will see other story we, we are not going to read, but I will just mention them. Now, let's read in Luke chapter 16. Somebody starting from verse 19. Jesus said, because people who are saying that there is no life mm -hmm. after death and the dead are not conscious is because they are considering wrongly the scripture of the wise men in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 9. In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 9, we are going to go there and I'm going to explain to you it's something very easy. But let's go here. First of all, we finish. Yes? Jesus said, there was a rich man who always dressed in the finest clothes. Mm -hmm. He was rich that he was able to enjoy all the best things every day. Oh, he was rich. This is what rich people do. Anything, the best thing that they enjoy all their life. They have got the millennial reign on earth in that world. That's why brothers... Do not envy them. Amen. Um, you go to Kilelesha, I was there a couple, a couple weeks ago. What? You look at the building people built. You look at the kind of life. You look at this one. Brother, I was surprised we went there. There were two children there who are mad, living in a sumptuous palace. Then I said to myself, What's the purpose of having all this big house with everything? Your children are mad. Sacrificed. The sacrifice of those two children provides that beauty of the house. What's the purpose? We make money so that we take care of our wife. We take care of our children. So now the children are already hangovers. You make them like I saw in Mombasa. All of them, they are... Is that happiness? No. No. I would rather stay the way Elohim has made me a poor man and be happy Amen. than living in a house like this. You cry every day looking at your children. What's the... Brother, the, the most important thing for a man is family. Amen. We work for them. We do everything for them. Now, when now they are useless... Hmm? Don't envy anyone. Amen. Amen. Be happy where Elohim has put you. Amen. Rejoice with, with what He gives you into your hand. Be happy with it. Amen. 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 The rich man, yeah, there was he was not a believer. Most of the rich people are. If you find a rich man a true believer, it's a miracle. Amen. Yeshua said. The same way it's very difficult for a camel to go through the eye of a needle. That's how it's difficult for rich people to go to heaven. So I mean, from here on earth to heaven, there's a, a small, tiny, all they have to go through. It, you can't even, huh? how will it start? It's, you, how will you go even go through? You can't go, it, you can't even see. Even if it was like this, like this one here you see here. How will you go? God. The rich man is here. Continue. There was also a very poor man named Lazarus. Okay. If they ask you which situation you want to be now, you will not want this poor man. Yet, I believe. Amen. 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 A true believer suffering is poor. He was like Uriah. Was Uriah a poor man? Yes. But he was married. Can poor man get married also? Yes. yes. Continue. Lazarus' body was covered with his sword. Yo! He was often put by the rich man's gate. Mm. Lazarus wanted only to eat the scraps of food Brother, left this rich God. man here could have gone to heaven mm. if he could know who was that Lazarus at 
his gate. Amen. The problem is we mostly forget to recognize the true believers. That's why Matthew chapter 25 says, On that day Yeshua will put some on the left, the others on the right. And he will say to the people on the left, he said, You people, I condemn you. You will perish. Because you saw me, I was hungry. You never gave me food. Then he said, how? When? How did we see you were hungry? We did not give you food. He said, you remember Lazarus? You remember, you, yes, yes, I remember Lazarus. It was me. Then you start saying, oh, Lazarus. Lazarus, why didn't you teach me that you, it's too late? Amen. Too late. Amen. Amen. Every time you can do something good, do it. You see the poor in the street here, brother, I'm advising you, give if you have. Amen. Give if you have. It's biblical. Lazarus, they reduced him only to crumbs. The rich man. Rich people are people who don't know how to, to, to consider others. You come to them, they look at you first of all, maybe the bodyguard takes you away. Because of money. No. This flesh here, we are the same. Mm -hmm. There is no place where the dead people who are rich and the dead people who are poor, they are separated. You go to the same place. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Continue. Yeah, Lazarus wanted only to eat the scraps Aye. of food left on the floor under the rich man's table. Aye. And the dogs came and licked his sword. He became the friend of the dogs. Can you see the, how the children of God suffer? Mm -hmm. The brother was telling me here, before he believed, uh, he was having a weird dream, many things. Fear filled his life. Look at the way children of God suffer. Continue. Lazarus later died. He died. The angels took him and placed him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What did you say? They later, later Lazarus, Lazarus died. died. Wait a minute. When we say Lazarus died, it means what? Lazarus died. It means what? Yes, uh, the physical body died. The physical body died. When you say the physical body died, it means what? He was no longer living in this world. What do they do with the body? They either throw it away or bury it. Am I right? Yes. But look here. He died. What happens? The angels. Stop. These angels came to angels as spiritual or physical? Spiritual. They, they were there all this time. They never came to take Lazarus. They only came to take Lazarus when Lazarus, Lazarus became like a angels, Amen. like them. Amen. It means what? He came out of this body. Amen. I wish I was able to come here with a video. I'm going to put it for you. Remind me. They took somebody, as I have said it in the church, they took somebody with this helicopter, which are like uh, the ambulance. The man came and they were taking, it was a VIP, they were taking the camera, a video, sorry, of this one. They took the body inside there, the doctors all went inside. As it started lifting itself up from the ground, in the camera you can see something comes out of the... The, the, the helicopter, whoop, it goes. I say to the people we were watching, said, the man died. They could not say, say oh, why are you saying that the man died? I said, rewind. 
Kr. Look here properly. You see that thing, that white fish, something whoop, was going to happen? He said, the spirit is gone. Because the camera, the videos, can sometimes get spirits. If you want to know some of the things that happen in your house and you want to know, put the camera there of 24 at night when you're sleeping. Just put it, make sure that it's there. It's there. When you look at it in the morning, rewind properly, you may see people walking there. I'm telling you. A couple of days ago in my, in, in, in my house there, after we came, we preached in Jivanji strongly. My children were not sleeping. My wife was not sleeping. In the morning, they told me, Daddy, we heard that someone was walking barefooted here in the, in the corridor. When we were sleeping. I said, my children don't fear. Amen. Do not fear. fear. Amen. The Bible says they will provoke you, even attack you, but they cannot harm you. Amen. Why? And you must put already the, the balance. They say you can walk here, but stop it. Amen. 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 So don't fear. Repeats the reading. I want to show you that when this body dies, the real you, you cross off. Amen. Death is only a transition between this world and the other world. Are you seeing it? Repeats the reading again. Later, Lazarus died. Yes. The angels took him. Wait a minute, yours says what? The time came when the beggar died. Yes. And the angels carried him to oh, Abraham. So side. they they who died? Lazarus. The angels carried who? The dead body or the living body? I'm asking. He died. And he was carried. Spirit carrying spirit. Because the body cannot carry that spirit. You can't even see. Do you see that Lazarus came from somewhere? And after that, he returned where he came from. Say amen. amen. That's why we were in God's mind. We were also in Jesus. When Jesus died, we died with him. Amen. When he resurrected, we resurrected with him. That's why we cannot die anymore. Amen. 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 We live forever. As the Bible says, the one who believes in me, he has gone from death right. to life. Automatically. That's why believers don't die. Amen. For that reason, we call our God the God of Abraham. Why? Because Abraham is not dead. He's going to speak here. Amen. Abraham will speak here because he's not dead. Amen. And Yeshua is going to talk and hear the, the, the conversation of our father Abraham in the New Testament. Amen. Yet he will say, your father Abraham was happy because he was to see me. Amen. Amen. And Abraham in the New Testament, Yeshua said, Abraham saw me and he was happy. The people who are carnal, they said, you are not even 50 years old. And you see, you have seen Abraham. He could not understand that before he was born, he was. Amen. No, no, I have not spoken properly. Before Abraham was, he is. Amen. Yeshua is the great I am. Amen. But that part, they don't know. These foolish people say, no, there is no life after death. We correct. We say, there is life before birth and there is life after death. Amen. Amen. That one is the, our, our retaliation. Amen. Adam proved it. Amen. Yeshua proved it. Amen. Amen. Others will prove the same. Now, he died 
the body was buried to fulfill the scripture that says you are dust and to dust you shall return this first part the physical part mm -hmm. the one we take care of too much putting makeups and hearing trousers putting a, a tie the, the way the brothers put the tie here we but we spend a lot for this body you can't believe <laughs> educating this body taking this body to i don't know which place we take it to the air there. <laughs> ah, this body. Ah, la, la. You take the pills against aging so that you become always young. Ah! You'll be an old man living in a young body. <laughs> this body. Immorality also. This body. This body is into... <sighs> This body. Paul, when he realized that one, he said, Who will set me free from this body of sin? Amen. The right thing that I know that I must do, I don't do. I take my phone and start watching pornography. I take my phone and I'm looking at men and women dirty. It affects your mind, it affects your body. Finally, you sin against your own body. This body. This is the body that likes to be. My friend, me, you cannot. No, me, I cannot be in the, You. Who are you? There's a joke I saw on, uh, on Facebook. The rich people, when they die, everyone comes with these billions in the banks. He's crossing over there with billions. They come to the gate. The angel is telling them, throw, throw this one in the dustbin there. You see, my billions. He said, throw. You see, they are telling him, look at the others. <laughs> <laughs> you have got the billions in the account and people are suffering. What are you going to do with it if you cannot share with those people? Elohim gives me millions, but I will give to the people who I need. I because know. after all, what am I going to keep it for? We are just different, and those who have got this kind of heart, Elohim also does not give them. And those who have not this kind of heart, they get it too much, and they they, they lock it in the in the vents where our sister is working. Locked. <laughs> you have no plan with it. Your children have got plenty. Every child has got millions in his own account. You find a room like this. Which kind of heart do you have? Yes, continue, we finish. Yeah, uh, Lazarus died. The angels took him and placed him in the arms of Abraham. Ah, voila! Amen. Say amen. amen. They took him physically or spiritually? Spiritually. So his spirit continued living. Amen. And he traveled where to? To the polygamist Abraham's bosom. Amen. He went there. Abraham was like, oh my son. The way the wife of William Branham was telling William Branham, oh my brother, on the other side. Amen. Amen. And uh, there is a story where another woman, very old, that William Branham brought to Christ, she was 90 years old. The angel told him, do you know this sister? He looked at the sister and said, no, I don't remember. Said, Look at her properly. He said, no, I can't remember. He said, this is the lady you brought to Christ when she was 90. She was 18 years old at that time, brother. On the other side, to be old, to be skinny, to be fat, Akuna. We are eternally young. Amen. Ah, that's how we should be. Sin has put us into this one year. You become this until you start feeling like, eh, my time is now going very fast. Now you, there are things you were doing when you were young. Now you are unable to do. Like me now, if I have to put my shoes now, 
Uh, but a couple of years ago, I was not doing this. I could climb the mountain. I'm all good and gone. Now I'm climbing, but I can feel myself. Sin. Amen. Continue. The rich man also. The rich man also who did not come from God, he also died. What happened? And it was buried. Oh. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. It's not the end of the story. He was buried because his world was to be here under the ground. Amen. But the other one was to be carried to his world. Amen. The world of Abraham. Just the way we read in the book of Genesis, Abraham, you, you will die, you will join your family. Everyone who dies join his spiritual family. Amen. Yes, either you go to the tormenting place or you go to the paradise today. Amen. Amen. Continue. He was sent to the place of death. Hey, you see now? He was sent... The to the place of death. So well, how can you be saved when you are not ex you are not living? So he's physically dead, but spiritually he is receiving command. Amen. Now you go there, and he obeys. Amen. Did Lazarus die? Yes. Did the rich man die? Yes. Did they leave it there where they were buried? No. Everyone took his direction. Continue reading. And there was in great pain. Oh, so you can still feel the pain even after death. Eh? I'm asking you, brothers. Yes. But this pain, is it a physical pain? Brother, I'm going to tell you something here you will not, you will not believe. Have you ever seen a cop, someone who's dead? But sweating. The dead body, people are crying, they want to go to bury it, but you see it sweating. He's under torment. And the reflection is shown on the body. Some other people, you see them dead. You, you look at them, you see them as if they are smiling. They have joined Abraham. Those are the things for you to see them. You must be a good observer. Like when my sister-in-law died. She was telling the father, Brother Piercas, now I want to go. I, so everything's okay. She was in pain. All of a sudden, she woke up and said, Dad, uh, everything's okay now. I want to go home. So the father was thinking, we want to go home now. They said, no. She was just saying, I'm happy. You don't need to worry. No, I'm okay. I want just to go home. They say, ah, but let me rest a little bit. And she's dying. But the happiness that was on her face. Brother Pierka said, I did not know that she was telling me she wants to go home. And she was very happy. said, now everything's okay. Now we were saying, what is that she was seeing that was making her happy? The mother, my mother-in-law was so tormented my, until one day after my mother was crying too much about her daughter, she came to her and said, Mom, why are you crying? Look at the place where I am. I am in a great happiness here. I don't even want to come back where you are. My mother-in-law woke up in the morning and said, I have now peace because my daughter is not lost. Amen. And she said, what the Bible preaches here is true. She was talking to the children, everyone. They said, the Bible tells us the truth. Amen. There is life after this body is dead. Amen. We transit. Death is only a car that brings you to your destination. Nothing changes. You are a prophet, you will be a prophet on the other side. Amen. 
You are a preacher. You will be a preacher on the other side. Amen. Amen. Now, we are going to see people who say that the dead people are not conscious. These people, are they conscious? Is the rich man conscious? Is, the, is Lazarus conscious? Now, what is there now which becomes unconscious after death? Let's go. The time is up. Let's take um, Ecclesiastes chapter 9, where these folks, they build up stories on things they don't understand. Let's read from verse uh, 3, 9 from 3. It says what? Somebody. Yes, brother. How about this? You did not get it? You got it? 9 3. Yes, from 3. There's an evil in all that is done under the sun. Uh -huh. The sun fit comes to earth. Also, the hearts of men are full of evil and madness is in their hearts while they live. Is that true? Is what we are reading here true? Yes. In, a, in the man's heart, you have got so many wickedness, evil thoughts. If only we could be able to detect and to read people's mind. Brother, there are many people who will not be friends with you. I'm looking at this brother here and I see everything and he knows I see. He will disappear. <laughs> That's why when the discernment will be given to us, uh, many who are not true believers will stay home. So, uh, you want me to go there so that they get to me? Uh, but be born again. Amen. Yes, abandon witchcraft because we will see. Just by looking at you, I see witchcraft. And I tell you the truth exactly. You deny, you die there. You accept, you can get, you can get uh, your salvation. Amen. Amen. Evil. Continue. And after, that, and after that day goes to the dead. But he, but he who is doing without the living. Wait a minute. After this bad life they have on earth, they go where? To the dead. So now they are dead, right? Yes. I want to show you which part which is unconscious when you die. Continue reading. But he, but he who is doing with all the living asshole. Mm. For a living dog is better than Check. a dead life. A living dog. Is it a spiritual dog or a physical dog? Huh? Have you ever seen a spiritual joke? They said, repeat the reading again. Don't just answer that way. Think before answering. Read again. But he who is doing without the living has hope. Anything that comes to life has hope. Am I correct? Yes. I repeat. Anything that comes to life. Let's take an example. A cow giving, uh, they say what? They don't say giving birth. To the animal, they say what? Okay, you understand. There is hope for that, that calf, right? To live. Am I correct? You find anything that comes to life as hope. Not what the wise man is talking about here. Continue. For a living dog. Because a dog that is living is better than a lion which is dead. A lion that is dead will not do anything because even if you come there, a baby comes there, it will not bite, even eat or nothing. Nothing. Because that dead lion is unconscious. But a living dog is conscious. You, you, 
let a dog sleep here. Take only that, um, the toy, I don't know how you call it, like those uh, teddy bears of uh, take for a tiger. Just put it next to the dog. Let the dog wake up and see it. What happens to the dog? It will jump because it's conscious of the danger. I can be eaten here. It runs away. But the dead lion is dead. You put it in the fire, it will not fight. You hold it by, the, by its mouth, it will not bite. Why? It's dead. Animals don't have souls. When they die, we shall have flat. Human being, we are in the image of God, we are transferred. Continue reading. For the living know that they will die. Yes! Brother, we are here constant. You play on the road there, you can. Yeah. You are constant. Why do we run? We run when we are crossing the road and you know the car is coming. Because you know that you can die. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. When you are sick, you, you are willing to go quickly to see a doctor. Because if you neglect, you know you can. Yeah. Exactly. This is the proof of life. I know I can die is a proof that I am living. Am I correct? Yes. The day I am not conscious of that I can die, then it means I'm not dead. There is a video that shows, a, a, a road video that shows someone crossing the road. Cars are passing over him. He's not even there. He's just crossing. He's not human. That was a spirit. Camera saw it. So it was walking, we saw a car. You can see the video, the car passing. He's just walking. They pass over him. It's just, it's just walking. And it disappears on the other side. Continue reading. <laughs> but, the, but the dead know nothing. Oh. When they say the dead know nothing, are they referring to the physical body? Or the spiritual body of the dead. Sorry. Now you stop. What is the wise man talking about here? The spiritual part or the physical part? The physical, the physical part. In Kenya, do they burn the body? Yes. They call it what? Cremation. Do you see those dead bodies fighting? Why do you, do, why is that the body don't fight? They are not conscious. But now, if that dead body comes back to life, will it accept to go there? Vita imagine to up up vita to come out because there is hope to live. Amen. 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 <laughs> but your body, our body here, when once we die, this part becomes unconscious. Knows nothing, they cannot fight, they cannot do anything. Anything they can do with your body, you could not react, nothing will do. You become as good as that dead lion. Same thing. Continue. They have no reward. Yes. Continue. But the memory of them is lost. The memory. Oh, I was the husband. I was the wife. I was the brother. I was the sister. I was it gone. I had money. I had this. I was there. I'm planning to travel. It gone. Say amen. Amen. Ah. I was expected. I was uh, this one. I was uh, a driver. I was a businessman. It's gone. Amen. 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 Continue. But the memory of them is lost. 
So if you start saying that they are talking about the spiritual part of the dead person, this is wrong. It will be wrong to say that this scripture is talking about the spiritual part of the human. Because the spiritual part of the human is still conscient. Amen. Say amen. amen. That's why Yeshua went to preach to those people because they were conscious and they knew they rejected uh, Noah. Amen. amen. But their body is lost. Unconscious. It can be eaten by animals. Someone asked me, so if your body was eaten by animals, at the resurrection, how are you going to get your body? Don't worry. The body of those animals, they, they died also. So you and them in the same body, you, the way they died, you are there. You will come and collect your body. They ate. You will collect it. Resurrect. We go. Amen. Amen. So here, the scripture is not talking about the spiritual part of our body. Remember, we have two parts in our body. Physical and spiritual. In the spiritual part, we have our spirit and the soul. In the physical part, is only this what we see here. What we love putting too much care, perfume, uh, beauty, and what, what, what. Even uh, nail, uh, eyes, things, and lipsticks. That one, when it dies, it becomes unconscious. They take you, they put you in the fridge. They turn the degrees up to zero, two degrees. You can't react. Because you are not even there. <laughs> is that clear? Yes. This is what we are talking about. Now, is that clear now? Yes. Now, let's go to... Uh, Luke, we close there. Luke chapter 23. Luke chapter 23 and we finish here. So, another brother will, will be reading here in um, let's read G Yeshua here is at the, at the cross. Verse 38. No, 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 no. Okay, we can start. Thirty-nine. No, 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 no. Thirty-six. Even the soldiers laughed at Jesus mm. and made fun of him. Mm. They came and offered him some sour wine. Mm. They say, if you are the king of the Jew, yes. save yourself. Yes. At the top of the cross, these words were written. This is the king of the Jews. Mm -hmm. One of the criminals. One of the criminals. And in there began to shout insults at Jesus. Uh, Aren't you the Messiah? Imagine. A very impolite man. Aren't you a Messiah? Continue. Then save yourself. Uh, and save us too. Look, is that the way you ask for help? Kabisa? Will you help us help <coughs> like this? Continue. But the other criminal stopped him. Mm. He said, You should fear God. Amen. Amen. You should fear who? God. God. Oh. Why did he say God? And it was a man who was condemned like him on the cross. But him, he does not see a condemned man. He sees who? God. That man was disrespectful to who? To the man Yeshua. Am I correct? Yes. But the other criminal did not see the man Yeshua. He saw who? God! 
Amen. He said, respect God. Continue. Yeah, you should fear God. All of us will die soon. Mm. You and I are guilty. Yes. We deserve to die because we did wrong. Yes. But this man has done nothing wrong. Oh, oh, oh. He said, first of all, fear God. Mm -hmm. Then he comes again, this man. Can you see that God is also a man? Yes. <laughs> but that's not the, today's topic. Continue. Then he said, mm. Jesus. Remember, Remember me, when me. You begin ruling when you king. begin to rule as king. When do you think Jesus will begin to rule as king? Huh? Uh, you are murmuring. Answer the question. When do you think Yeshua will start ruling as a king? At the millennial reign. And this man was asking Yeshua. When you will become the king in the millennial reign, allow me to be there with you. Amen. He was asking for something that was very far. Amen. Because he trusted him. Amen. He believed in him. Look at the response. Then Jesus said to him, Hey, I promise you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. a minute. Did the same man say we are all going to die here? Yes. Were they supposed to die? Yes. That same day. Yes. But look at the Yeshua speaking. I promise you today. Today. Not tomorrow. Today. What do you mean? Explain to me today. Today is here means what? This today Yeshua is talking about here means what? Oh. We have covered it already. Today here means what? Yes? The day they want to die. No. Today means when we die. Today. Because we are dying today. At the moment today we die, I take you with me. Amen. Amen. Because the righteous is always taken after death. Amen. Remember Lazarus. When he died, he was taken. Re repeat the reading. Then Jesus said to him, I promise you, today you will be with me in paradise. Amen. 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 So wait a minute. Where was his body? Buried. Because they were they were, they offloaded the body of these three people, right? Mm -hmm. Yeshua was also buried. When they were burying the body, Yeshua was not there. He had traveled to drop this man in the paradise Amen. and came back, went to teach to Amen. the people there. And say Amen. Amen. Because after you die, you still live. Amen. 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 Check. It is called paradise, right? No. Second Corinthians chapter 12. Second Corinthians chapter 12. Let's start reading from verse 1. Yes, Brother Abanus. I must go on boosting. Yes. All, although there is nothing to be to be gained, mm. I go on to visions and revelations from the Lord. Yes, I know a man in Christ. I know a man in Christ. It was not outside Christ. Amen. A man who was a believer. What happened to him? Who fourteen years ago? Fourteen years ago was caught up to the third heaven. Stop. Do you see this one? A man who was in Christ, he was caught up. Wait a minute. What was caught up? His body or his spirit? His spirit. <clears throat> but where was the body when the body when when he was caught up? The body was on earth. Is that correct? Continue. Whether it was in the body or out of the body, I will not know. Ah. 
God knows. Which body is referring to here? The physical body. Continue. And I know that this man, whether in the body or apart from the body, I do not know. Mm. But God knows. Yes. He was caught up to paradise. He was caught up to paradise. What is paradise? Where that thief who believed Yeshua took him and left him there. Amen. 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 Is the place William Branham went to visit. Amen. He saw people living there. Amen. Amen. In that real people are there. Let me prove to you that people are there. First Corinthians chapter 15. Every one of us has got this. Okay. Let's read from verse 37. And, Somebody. And when you plant something, mm. what you plant does not uh, have the same body. Yes. That it will be, that, that it will have later. Oh, wait a minute. When you take, you hear brother is someone. Yes. When you take maize. The grain. It's a body, isn't it? Yes. You plant inside the earth, you close. The body that comes out, is it the same body? No. It becomes what? A green plant. So there's a body that is a soul, and there's another body that comes out. Amen. 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 It will not be the same thing that was buried there. It looks different. Am I correct? Yes. That's why Lazarus was buried. Lazarus, <coughs> he came out, the spirit of the believer, taken by the angels. <laughs> Continue. What you plant is only a seed. Yes. Maybe wheat yes. or something else. Yes. But God gives it another body. Say amen. 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 Even you, my brother, my sister, as you are here, God will give you another body. Amen. When this body dies, He gives you another body. To continue <coughs> living. And that other body is called a spiritual body. Continue. And they give each kind of seed its own body. Yes. All things made of flesh are not the same. Yes, we are not the same, all of us. The flesh we have in this world. List, look, look at the list. Oh yeah, read. People have one kind of flesh. We have one kind of flesh. This, okay, this one here. It's one kind of flesh. Continue. Animals have Animals. Another. It's another kind of flesh. Birds. Birds. Another, another kind of flesh. And fish, fish have yet another, another kind of flesh. Is that true? Yes. But Paul is telling the reality. Continue. Also, there are heavenly bodies. Say amen. amen. Continue. And earthly bodies. Oh. Uh -huh. But the beauty of the heavenly body is one kind, and the beauty of the earthly body is one kind. Exactly. Amen. That one will continue from here. Yahweh shall I bless you. Amen. Is that clear? Yes. So go and tell these people who are saying that when you die, you die flat. I don't know if they are referring to flat screen or what. I don't know. To die flat. He was saying we die flat. I don't know what to die flat means. Shalom. Shalom. Let's pray. Thank you.